but nobody can really mess up some tilapia now. This is the craziness. And it was just a little weird that he had a camcorder set up. He kept asking an underage girl to drink. He kept talking about my feet a little bit. Hey y'all, hey, it's Queen Beauty here and welcome to my channel. Today I am back at it again with another story time, you know. In honor of Valentine's Day, I was like, I haven't had Valentine in a long time, but I do have a date night story time of the worst date night or worst date I've ever been on. I felt like this would be a great time to share that story time. So I was like, okay, let's do it. Let's get ready and let's do a little Valentine's Day inspired look and let's you know tell this story and give y'all the tea so that's what i'm gonna do today uh before we get into this video make sure you like comment and subscribe down below shout out to all y'all for getting me to 700 subscribers i'm so happy about it i'm lit about you guys so welcome to the family but yeah um but yeah without further ado let's just get right into this video i've actually filmed this video this is my second time filming this video I did not like the way my wig looked in the first one, so hopefully this one will be way better. <laughs> but yeah, let's just get right into this video so y'all can hear about my worst date ever. So as y'all can see, I already did my eyebrows and this eye off camera. And it's actually messing up a little bit, but I'll fix it later. Um, but basically, I'm going to set the scene for you guys with this story time. And literally, I'm just going to do my makeup as I talk. So basically, back in 2014, your girl was a sophomore. She thought she was that girl. Wasn't a freshman anymore. And I still actually lived in a dorm, but it was way better than my first dorm. So literally, every Friday, I don't know if y'all know, I went to FAMU, Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University. And basically... Every Friday, we had Set Friday. So at Set Friday, basically, it's like a lot of vendors come out with their booths and they sell things and promote stuff. And there's a DJ out there. People dance. People show off their bombest outfits. Like, it's really a little mini fashion show. And all the different orgs come out. And it's just a nice little social daytime event now if you had class uh sorry for you because you missed the fun <laughs> but anyways so on the set i'm walking around living my best life got my cutest outfit on and back then i was in faces so we would wear heels to the set so i was that girl but anyways so I'm wearing my heels to the set, I'm walking around thinking I'm that girl, thinking I'm cute. And I walk past one of the vendors and he is this fine, tall, light skinned buff guy. Just so freaking cute. And you can tell from looking at him, like he's one of those guys that knows they're cute like he knows he's all that which is fine sometimes but it just depends on how they act this eye looks way better than the other eye but i digress so anyways like i was saying he knew he was cute but i was going to figure out a way for him to notice me anyways because i'm just that kind of person like i'm not going to i'll say something to you if i really need to but if I don't have to and I can just place myself into your vicinity while I'm looking real, real cute, then that's what I'm going to do. And so that's what I did. So basically, I would, and it probably took about two or three times of him seeing me. So basically what I would do is I would go up to his little vendor area, his table, and I would just, you know, browse around or ask a question or see if I can try something on. And I think I even went as far as buying a pair of sunglasses. I lose sunglasses like it's nothing, y'all. So I know I still don't have those. I don't know. I don't know where those are. I don't even remember what kind I bought or anything. 
So, I know they're gone. But regardless, needless to say, bought a pair of sunglasses. So I think after I bought a pair of sunglasses, after I would go by there, you know, he got to see a familiar face. He would say hello to me, whatnot. Eventually, he asked me for my number. And I think we talked for about a week or so. And then he asked me on a date. So, this is where, this isn't even where the craziness starts. I think the craziness doesn't start until the second date, but I still want to tell y'all about the first date because you got to notice things like, you got to like take in red flags and use them to your advantage. Like if you see a red flag in somebody in the first date, obviously you don't need to be talking to them no more. Like you need to get rid of them immediately. Like, don't even keep holding on. So anyways, first date rolls around. And we decide that we are going to... What do we... Oh, this is stupid. Okay, I remember now. So, first date rolls around. He's been asking me like, Oh, you know, I cook all the time. You should definitely come over here to cook. Red flag number one. But you know what? I was hashtag young and dumb, period. And um, I'm gonna tell you right now, do not go to somebody's house on the first date. Never do that. Meet somewhere, drive separate cars, do all that. Take all the precautions you need to, okay? Don't be dumb. But anyways, so I agree to go to his house for him to cook for me for the first date. And I didn't even tell y'all. Mind you, this man is grown. I didn't even... He was grown. Probably in his 30s. And here I am. I wasn't just turned 18, but... I was almost 19, probably. No, I was 19. I was 19. I had just turned 19 or 8. I don't know. I know it was 2014, so I was 19. So the crazy thing is that same night that we had planned the date was also one of my friend's birthday dinners. And I literally did not go to her birthday dinner because I went on a date with that man. And it was funny to me because I don't know if y'all ever seen that video of Santana. And he's like, it was like a meme and it was like, oh, you really gonna leave me for your man? <laughs> And it's him running out the door. <laughs> I'm going to insert the clip right here. It's so freaking funny. But I just thought of that and that was how I was. Which was very unfortunate. And I'm sorry, friend, if you actually watch my videos. <laughs> and I actually got what I deserve from not going to your party. You know? But anyways. So the first day, he had been asking me what I like to eat and all that different stuff. I told him I loved baked fish. He ended up making me like some baked tilapia, which is, I feel like, I was going to say something stupid. I'm going to keep it to myself, but it's not that great. And did y'all know that tilapia is not really like a fish that be swimming around in the ocean? It's like made, but yeah. So it's the night of the day and literally I'm dressed in some heels a dress and I think like a jean jacket or something and which was stupid now that I think about it because it's like I'm going to this man's house what the heck I got heels and a dress on for he comes to pick me up from the dorm so he knows I'm young anyways so he comes to pick me up from the dorm and my friend is also going off to her birthday dinner I felt so bad but sorry again anyways so I go over to his house. Mind you, I pull up to the house. The house is huge. It is like upstairs, downstairs, three bedroom house. He got two cars. Oh, he got money. Okay. So we get inside the house and red flag number one. But I just want to also say, make sure y'all check y'all surroundings because I did not very well. And you'll see how that comes full circle. But basically, just pay attention to where you are and where you go. Because if he had killed me that day, I probably didn't even know how he got to his house. To tell you the truth. <laughs> he could have. But so I go inside the house, right? And I walk inside and it's the kitchen right on the left. 
And then when you go in a little bit deeper, it's the living room. Now, in the living room, it's not no regular living room, okay? It's not no regular furniture in there, y'all. Guess what's in there? Did y'all guess? Are y'all thinking? Are y'all trying to guess? You know? What's in there is actually a bed and a camcorder set up. And some mirrors. Now, I don't understand why that wasn't a red flag for me. And I think I asked him about it, but I don't remember what he said. But it literally was just a bed, a blow-up mattress bed with sheets on it. Real ghetto. And the camcorder was leaning up against the wall. It wasn't actually like fully set up. And so I literally just sat at his, he had one of those like island kind of things. And so I sat at the island and we just chatted and talked and he kept trying to ask me to drink, but I don't know back then and still now I don't, I'm not a person that likes to drink at the house. Um, if I'm going to drink, I want to go and drink and go out to the club and dance and have my best life, live my best life and not sit in the house. Cause if I sit in the house and drink, I'm going to sleep. So he kept asking me to drink and then he also kept complimenting my toes and basically complimenting my feet and saying how pretty they were, which is fine by me. Like, I don't know. In my head, I was like, okay, he just likes feet. He just thinks mine are cute. You know, I did just get a pedicure. I'm like, I don't even think I was wearing white toes back then. I think they were red. So, I mean, they were popping out. So they were cute, I thought. So I didn't really think nothing of it. The night went really, really good. Like, it wasn't no complaints. Um, we ended up setting for, like, a, a second date. So, everything was fine. Everything was perfect. I liked him. He ended up dropping me off at home. I don't even think he tried to kiss me or anything. So, it was, he was just, like, a perfect gentleman. The only things, you know, were it was just a little weird that he had a couch. He didn't have a couch, but he had a bed. And it was just a little weird that he had a camcorder set up and some mirrors. And, you know, um, he kept asking an underage girl to drink. And um, he kept talking about my feet a little bit. Wow. Now that I think about that, that sounds horrible. Like, it sounds like a lot of red flags, you know? But, you know, hashtag young and dumb. Can't help it. So now it's second day time and basically we are deciding that we're going to go to the movies. I do not remember what movie we went to go see. Couldn't tell you. Um, but dumb move number two, I guess, kind of. Uh, basically, he convinces me or he just tells me, you know, we can ride together. But since the movie is toward my house. You just drive to my house and then we will, you know, just ride in my car over to the movies. So I'm thinking, oh, that is smart. That's regular, you know. I wouldn't make him come all the way and come get me. I drive over to his house and we get in his car and go to the movies. The movie's fine. He just kept trying to hold my hand and like hug me and stuff which is fine but i'm just a person i don't know if y'all know um do y'all know y'all's um love language so there are five different love languages there's acts of acts of service uh words of affirmation um physical touch gift giving and it's one more quality time now my top three are quality time, gifts, and acts of service. Nowhere in that top three is touching, physical touch. I do not like to be touched. I don't, that's just how I am. I don't know. I wasn't a person that wanted hugs all the time. So that's just not me. Anyways, so basically, uh, physical touch is not my forte for real. So it was just a little awkward, but I can hold hands for a certain amount of time just after a certain amount of time. My hands are sweating and I don't know if that's TMI, but it's, I, I'm a hot natured person. Like I am always hot. 
I don't know which lash goes on which eye. I hate when I do that. But yeah, so the movie ends and then we go back to his house to go pick up my car. And so he's like, you need to come back in. Uh, I still have leftovers from the food. Now, mind you, the food was okay. It wasn't like the greatest, but nobody can really mess up some tilapia now, you know? So anyways, he convinces me to come back inside to get me a plate. Because I'm a college student. What college student turns down a plate? Not me. Never. Never. I don't turn down a plate now. So anyways, I go into his house and I'm telling him, I'm like, okay, I can't stay here long because I have school tomorrow. I think it was like a Sunday night, which was so weird to be going on a date, but it's whatever. So I'm like, I gotta go to school tomorrow. I have to be up for a morning class. I probably was lying because I didn't really have that many morning classes. I was like, I got stuff to do tomorrow. I can't be out late. I think it was already like nine o'clock. So... He's like, yeah, 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 cool, it's gonna be quick. So I go inside the house. Now, the bed is still in the living room. He packs up my plate. We're talking a little bit, sitting at the little bar stools. And then he's like, oh my gosh, you haven't seen the house. I'm like, okay, I have not. I know it's a big house. I know there's upstairs, you know, but I know you got money. You can flex, I guess, and show me around, but I am going to be leaving soon. So he gets up and is like, let's go upstairs so I can show you around. It's weird how you can put the same lash on the other eye and it still not look the same as the first eye. So he's like, okay, I'm going to show you upstairs. So I follow him up the stairs and it is, like I said, a three bedroom house. There is a bedroom right there, a bedroom right there, there's a bathroom, and then there's the master bedroom. And he's like, you gotta see the master. So I'm like, okay. So, wow, I have a pump right here. Didn't even see that. Didn't even know. Wow, wonderful. Anyways. So I am walking into the master bedroom. It's a pretty big room. It has a huge flat screen TV in there and a huge bed. But the first thing I notice, right above the bed, there is a huge mirror. And on the side of the bed, on the nightstand, there are sex games. Bunches of them, handcuffs, feathers, um, real Christian gray, just the light skin black version, okay? I'm not prepared. Finally, red flags go off in my head and I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm ready to go. So he's like, no, you gotta stay. And I'm like, no, I'm serious, I'm ready to go. So as I turn around and I'm about to walk out the room, cause I'm like, oh yeah, it's a nice room and whatnot, but I gotta go. So as I turn around and I'm walking out of the room, he grabs me from behind on my shoulders, like right here, and he squeezes them and that's when he bites me. Yeah, you heard it right. He bites me. And he was like, So, he runs past me, and this is why I told y'all to pay attention to your surroundings. This is my second time in this man's house, and I did not notice how his door locks, okay? So, he runs past me and locks me in the house. Now, I'm going to explain how he locks me in the house. If I can find a picture or something of something similar to how his lock uh, thing was, um, then I'll insert it, but if not... I'm going to try to explain the best way I can. So the type of lock it is, and I I know y'all been to a hotel and y'all know how the hotel locks are, where you fold that thing over. When you fold it over, you fold it over into a box. And you can close the box and then the box can be locked with the key. So literally, he folded it over, locked the box, and took the key out. And like... I'm just standing there like with my mouth open because I'm one of those shocked people that can't process things fast enough. I, I couldn't process it. I, I In my head, I was like, I was stuttering like I am now. I, <laughs> I was like, wow, is this really how 
I'm going to die? Am I going to die? Like, am I going to be one of those people that actually get held hostage? Like, is that really what my life has become? All because I wanted to talk to the guy that sells sunglasses on the set? Like, is this really what's going on? So, I just, I couldn't believe it. I, I was so out of it. So, literally, I I walked up behind him because he was still standing at the front door. And I was like, you know, stop playing. Like, it's funny. <laughs> stop playing. Because you know what you got to do? You got to play nice. I don't know if y'all seen the, uh, the series You on Netflix. Beck did not play nice. You got to play nice until you get out of there, okay? If you're in some kind of hostage situation or anything crazy. But, yeah. So, I'm like, what is this? You know I got to go to class tomorrow. Like, let me out. <laughs> so, he's like, no, like, I'm serious. You're staying with me. I want you to stay with me. And so, he literally runs up the stairs again and runs into his room. And so, I'm still at the bottom of the steps. And I'm looking at the lock, trying to figure out, is there a way that I can get out? Can I pull it? Can I open this? Can I do that? How can I get out the back door? I'm literally, like, weighing my options, trying to figure out how I'm going to escape. Eventually, I come up with, I, I can't get out of here. So, I'm sitting at the bottom of the steps. Mind you, also, my phone is dead. And this is the second night we went on a date, and I did not tell my friends this time. So, they don't know where I am or what I'm doing, okay? So... I'm sitting at the bottom step, just contemplating life, just, you know, trying to figure things out. And I'm just like, okay, I'm going to be a big girl, and I'm going to go up them stairs. And I'm going to fight him. We're going to have to fight. That's, period. I'm going to have to fight him. Like, these hands is ready, okay? Like, <laughs> like period. That's all I got. <laughs> but, like I said, play nice. So, that's what I did, first and foremost. So, but... Just in case he started acting crazy, these hands was ready. So, I slowly walked up the steps, and I'm like, okay, you can stop playing now. And I walk into his room, and he's literally laying on the bed, looking at me like, I'm like, okay, I really need to go. I have fun with you, but I have to go. And so, I'm scanning the room to see if the keys are nearby. And I see them on the nightstand. And so, I literally, like, he looks at me when I look at the keys. And I reach to go get the keys, right? And that's when he, like, grabs my hand. So, I have the keys in my hand. But his hand is on top of my hand. He's like, I'll let you out if you do me one favor. And let me say goodbye. And I'm like, okay, goodbye, hey, I'll see you later, let's go, let's get out of here, you know? And he's like, no, I've been talking about your feet since yesterday, and I want to say goodbye to your feet. What? What are we doing? <laughs> what is this? So I'm like, you can walk me out to the car. You can say all the buys you want to say. So he's like, okay. So I, he lets me out the house. We walk all the way to the car. I left the plate. I don't even care about the plate no more, okay? Forget the plate. Who cares? I don't even want to touch your food anymore. So I literally get in the car, and he's like, take off your shoes. And I'm like, okay and he's like if you don't take off your shoes i'm gonna drag you back in the house and i'm like this is a psycho like you just held me hostage for about almost 30 minutes okay and it's literally like 10 30 by now y'all he grabs my foot and he kisses it he kisses my big toe and he's like, your feet are so beautiful. And I'm like, thanks. And then I put my feet back in the car. And I slam the door. 
And I'm like, bye. Literally, I swerved out of that so fast, I almost hit his uh, foot. But literally, that was the worst day in my whole entire life. And my mom, I don't know if she's heard this story, but yeah. And she watches my video. So yeah. Um, if I actually post this video, y'all really gotta like, Comment down below y'all worst dates. Make me feel a little bit better. Just a little bit, okay? I was hell hostage. I was bit. And he had a foot fetish. And was kissing all on my toes, okay? Like, can somebody top that in the comments down below, please? 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 Make me feel better for putting this out on the internet. But yeah, um... And that's really why I'm single now because you got to really be cautious of who you let into your circle and who you go on dates with because they are scary and crazy sometimes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, enjoyed this makeup look. It is kind of Valentine's Day inspired. I'm actually going somewhere. It's not a date. I'm going out with my aunt. We're going to some black violinists tonight and it's going to be a cute little event. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And Queen Beauty, out!